back to Chernobyl, where truly historic events are about to unfold. This time I have a guest speaker to my channel. His name is Carl Willis. He's a nuclear engineer from the US. If you don't know him already, be sure to check out this video's description. But now let's proceed and check out what's going on around the reactor number four. Go in ready. Well, as you can see, the new safe confinement at Chernobyl is looking pretty much done. And any day now, it could slide over the remains of Unit 4 at the power plant and entomb that reactor forever. And you won't ever be able to see this lovely sarcophag of 30 years again. Now, we're here at, uh, what is this? This is November 11th. November 9th? 10th? In the beginning of I November. Forget. It's in the beginning of November 2016. So it's cold, my hands are freezing. We're up here on the uh, roof of the 1430 change facility. And uh, we have this spectacular view to ourselves of this new safe confinement. Any day now, it's going to slide, or so they say. Other people say it's 30% overweight, which would be an engineering nightmare if true. But uh, supposedly, according to official schedules, this whole massive arch is supposed to slide over block four, and uh, it's supposed to take no more than three days to get there, which is just astonishing. All of the contractors for Mammut, which is a company that uh, is responsible for the traction system, all these red uh, uh, traction devices to move the arch. All those employees are out here on the job waiting for the order to uh, go ahead and move it. They're doing their training, they're doing their preparatory activities, and uh, it could be tomorrow, it could be two days from now, uh, could be next week, but any day now this arch will slide and forever obscure the view that we have known from the Chernobyl nuclear power plant for the last 30 years. So truly a pivotal and exciting time in the history of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. You can see the uh, uh, counterforce wall on the west side of the old safe, uh, or the old uh, sarcophagus uh, surrounding the Unit 4 reactor. And there are a couple people working up there. In the background, you can see the replacement chimney that was uh, installed to help ventilate Units 3 and 4. And uh, the new safe confinement is going to be controlled from the building that is nearing completion on our left. And then the massive arch will slide this way, slide towards us, cover where we're standing uh, temporarily, and continue sliding until it is completely over the fourth block of the Chernobyl power plant. And it will entomb it that way for an estimated 100 years while the work of deconstructing the uh, remains of Unit 4 uh, goes on. And a lot of international companies are actually involved in this project. For example, this train is from a German company. It's finished. It looks like they're testing the, uh, the American-made cranes that are going to be used up there on the roof piece to uh, take apart the, uh, the old sarcophagus. No problem. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they got the power on, the lights are on. This is days away, we were told, from being rolled over where we're standing now and covering up the old remains of the Unit 4 reactor. So exciting time here at the Chernobyl plant. And uh, as far as dose out here, I think it's kind of interesting. Uh, we're looking at the times 10 scale. We're looking at about three to four, maybe about, I think it's really safe to say it's probably around three millirentgen per hour, just right here. And it's due to all the fuel containing material behind me. If I actually step out, uh, if I face the other direction, and uh, instead of having my body between unit four and the probe, instead if I just have the probe sitting up here, we're closer to four to five. So clearly the source of the radiation is from over here. So how do you like it, Nathan? It's amazing. I mean, it's just the trip of a lifetime. <laughs> 
when I was walking up here, I really thought I was going to pass out because I was breathing so hard and I couldn't get enough air. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's really amazing. Is there anywhere else you'd rather be right now? Nope, not right now. This is the place to be. It is the place to be. It's amazing. And against all odds, the giant arch, the new safe confinement, has only just started moving towards the iconic reactor number four. So if all goes well, within a few days, this iconic view will actually vanish from the surface of the Earth. So it's time to say goodbye, Chernobyl.